Hey guys, Pete here and we've got another review. Today we're talking about a 21 inch expanding baton. Uh, this is a no-name brand baton, so can't really give you a name brand for it. Uh, but you can find these all over the place. I happen to get this one off of Amazon, though the listing isn't there anymore. Otherwise I would put a link in the description. Uh, just look around, I'm sure you can find them on eBay. This was just a cheap little thing that I got, like I said, no name brand. Uh, I think it was about $15 on Amazon. Uh, and you get what you pay for. It's not amazing, but uh, it certainly gets the job done. Now, I'm no expert on batons, so I can't really speak much to it, but just as far as, you know, finish and the, the quality of it and the, the build of it, I'd say it's pretty good. Um, so, open this up for you real quick. For those of you who don't know how these work, this is an expanding or a telescopic baton. What that means is that there are multiple sections in here. I think this one has three. Uh, that all kind of shrink, uh, shrink down inside of each other. If you ever needed to open one up, this back end here unscrews, and in its closed position, all of the extra sections are all compacted onto here. Put that back in there. It's a very simple, simple device, it doesn't take much. To open it, all you gotta do is flick it out. Unfortunately, not a lot of space here. I'm not gonna be sure if I can get this on camera, but we'll see. That's all it takes to uh, deploy the baton. Once you do, you can see you've got three locking sections here. It's just a friction fit inside here. The uh, butt end of this rod is a little bit small, uh, a little bit bigger than the opening in this rod, and they just lock into place like that. Most will have a solid steel knob on the end. This one looks as though you could unscrew it, though I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, to close it, all you have to do is smack it down really hard on a solid surface like a concrete floor. Uh, it can be done on wood floors, but be careful because A, you can damage the wood, uh, and B, it might just not close it properly. It takes a lot of solid force, and if you have kind of a spongy wood floor, it might not get the job done. Now, I mentioned before in one of my other videos that I wanted to start getting some other pieces of EDC kit into these videos. Um, not everything has to be a knife, or a lighter, or a gun, or something like that. An excellent piece of self-defense kit can be a baton. Now, this is a little bit big. This is a 21-inch baton. Uh, for an everyday carry, maybe you're looking at a 12-inch baton or a 16-inch baton. Uh, the 12-inch ones you can throw on your keychain pretty easily. The 16-inch ones are a little bit bigger, uh, but can still fit in a backpack. I keep this in my pack at all times, and you really don't notice it's there. It's a little heavy, but other than that, it's uh, it just kind of fits right in. The sheath is nice. It does have a belt loop on it that you can use if you you know, felt so inclined. I don't see the purpose in physically carrying it, carrying it on me, uh, but I do have it in my pack whenever I go out. Um, it really is a nice little addition. It's not for everyone, absolutely, but for those of you who are looking into what else can be added to your kit, maybe check out a baton. They're an excellent little force multiplier. They're compact, so they're somewhat lightweight depending on the size, uh, and they can get the job done. Now, as far as quality goes and buying the $80 Asp Baton, you don't have to. You don't have to go with the name brands. Uh, something like this, ideally you never have to use it, but if you do, you're using it, you know, probably once in your entire lifetime. Hopefully never, but you know, you never know. Um, and in that one altercation, it's not going to fail on you. It really is an incredibly simplistic design. It's just three or four pieces of locking steel, sometimes only two. Um, and even if it doesn't fully deploy the first time, you can still do damage with it. It doesn't have to do anything fancy here. It's not some crazy engineering. It's just a couple chunks of steel that you're going to hit someone with. And really, to that end, a $15 one will work just as well as an $80 one. Considering that you don't even really train with the actual baton itself, it's not good for it, so you're not going to be like eating on tree limbs with this or anything to, to practice with it. You're going to get a trainer, or you're going to get like a, a little wooden bow staff that's weighted properly, and you're going to use that. So really, this will this will knock into a, a human's limb no problem. You're not going to have any issues with this breaking or collapsing when you hit a person. Uh, like I said, if you don't deploy it properly, sometimes you can feel it, it'll be a little loose, it'll wiggle, and you could force it back in manually. But even then, it's still an effective force multiplier. Even in its fully collapsed state, this is, uh, I'd say a little bit under foot, maybe 9 or 10 inches long for the handle alone. That alone you could use as an impact coubaton, which is excellent. Um, again, it's not for everyone, but you might want to look into adding this to your everyday kit. It really is a nice little addition. Personally, uh, I felt that it would make an applic applicable uh, addition to my kit. I felt that it served a purpose if it ever came up, uh, and this kind of filled a void in my kit that I didn't have. I didn't really have any ranged options. If I needed to get at someone who was a little bit further away and maybe had a weapon like a gun, 
it's hard to close that gap quickly, but with this, I don't need to. This closes the gap for me. Now, I'm not very well trained in it, so I'm not entirely comfortable carrying it just yet. I don't really like carrying weapons that I'm not well versed in, because uh, they can and will be used against you if you don't know how to properly use them. That being said, I am a little bit proficient with it. I can train with it occasionally. I've got some bow staffs I can use, or sorry, uh, some single stick and double stick I can practice with for Kali, things like that. But it's a nice little addition. I like it a lot. Again, quality is not amazing. You've got this rubberized grip right here, or sorry, you have this foam rubber handle here, uh, and it was actually kind of mislabeled. On Amazon itself, this was shown as a solid rubber uh, traction, well-patterned grip on here, and it actually looks rather high-end. That is not what I got. What I got was this rinky-dink little squishy foam rubber, but for what it's used for, and hopefully never, mind you, but for a one-time altercation, it's good grip. You're not going to slide off. It's not going to wear off anytime soon. So it's fine for what it is at $15. Personally, I like it a lot. I say go ahead, look around for it, because your only options are not just a knife or a gun. You've got coubatons, pepper spray, tasers, batons, whole whole realm of self-defense items that not everyone knows about. So if you're looking for what to add to your kit, maybe check out a baton. Maybe start a little bit smaller. They do have multiple sizes. Like I said, they've got 12-inch uh, versions that are on your keychain, uh, 16 or 18-inch versions that are you know a little more compact than this. They've got the 21-inch, which are these, and I think even the 24, 26-inch, something above this size even. Uh, it's a little bit big for me personally. Again, the goal is range with these. It is a force multiplier, but it does extend your range quite nicely. However, for me, uh, I don't know. I was thinking about getting a smaller one at first. The 16-inch seemed more my style. Uh, and in all honesty, it does give you a bit more control without having to choke up as far as I do here to get that same level of control. Um, but it still works fine for me. So I'm happy with my purchase, though I might want to look into a smaller one, maybe a keychain version. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much covers everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed. It's a, an excellent little tool to add to your kit. Maybe try it out if you're trying to think of what else your kit might be lacking in for your everyday carry. So as always, guys, thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any questions at all, either on this or anything else on my channel, ask below. And as always, guys, keep your edges sharp and your mind sharper, and I'll see you in the next one.